Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. So we're not going on camera today, but I will be showing you how to create this awesome custom 3D text path here inside of After Effects. So what you're gonna be able to do is take any custom shape or letter and be able to turn it into a 3D text path very easily here inside of After Effects. But before we get started, I wanna mention that we are currently having our Cyber Monday sale, which is up to 40% off on just about all of our current templates here for After Effects and Premiere Pro. So if you wanna get your hands on any of these packs right now at the lowest prices, the link will be below. And you can also download our 100 free template pack here for After Effects and Premiere Pro with the links below as well. All right, so to get started, what we'll do is we'll grab the textile tool and we'll type out a random letter here. So this will be the letter D, and this will be the custom path of our you know, our object. And when our letter's ready to go, right click on it, go to create and click on create mask from text. And this will create some mask for us. Now, if you wanna create a custom path that isn't a letter or a number, just go ahead and create yourself a solid layer. And then you grab the, you know, the mask tool, one of the rectangle tools here or the pen tool and just create your custom path. But then to move on, we wanna type out the actual title that will take the shape of our path. So we'll come down here, grab our textile tool and type out some text. All right, so I have my title typed out here. And then what we wanna do is go to our outline layer and we'll hit MR keyboard to bring up the mask. We'll copy the outer mask if you have more than one mask, copy the mask path, and then paste it onto your text layer. Then we can open up our text layer, go to mask, set the mode from add to none, and then go to text, go to path options, and set the path to mask one. Now this will take the form of our mask, which is the letter D. But we wanna turn this title into 3D space. So we'll click on animate and click on enable per character 3D. Then we'll go back to animate, go to rotation, and we'll come here to the X rotation and set it to 90 degrees. And now our title will be turned in 3D space. You can barely see it right now from this angle, but now it's in 3D space and that's what we want. Then we'll go back into the path options and we'll Alt, click the stopwatch for first margin, and we'll type in time asterisk 50. And now this will animate our title to go around our, you know, our custom path in 3D space. All right, so now let's actually see our work in 3D space correctly. So we'll come here to layer new camera, and we'll hit CR keyboard to cycle through the camera orbit tools until we get this rotation tool like so, and we can just rotate this in 3D space. All right, so now you can actually see that our title is somewhat taking form of everything. But what we need to do is extend our title. To do this, what we'll do is just quickly double click the text layer. This will select everything, copy it, then hit the uh, right arrow key, hit space, and then go ahead and paste this in here as many times you need. I think two times for me is all I needed to do. Uh, and if you have any overlap, what we'll do is grab our textile layer and we'll just adjust the tracking here in the character window and this will remove the overlap. So this is what we currently have, uh, everything's animating, but let's go ahead and build upon this to make this even a cooler shape. So for this, I think I'll actually use the font beep as uh, new bold, never say it correctly, but that will stand out even more. And we take this layer, we can duplicate it, hit P on your keyboard for position and adjust the Z value to bring this back in our, you know, Z space. And then we do one more duplicate. We'll go to the middle layer and we'll bring this in between our two uh, titles like so and then maybe for this I'll change the uh, font to a thin version of this a thinner version I'll do light actually and then I can hit S from a keyboard for scale break the chain and then maybe increase the Z scale value of this and then I'll just briefly adjust the Z values everything to kind of make it more connected so I went ahead and added some more words to my uh, text here because I realized that it was actually getting cut off a little bit but let's go ahead and add some glow effects to this so let's come here to effect stylize uh, glow and we'll add this to the outer text and in, in order to make this look even better, let's grab our text layer and actually change the color of this to maybe an actual color here. And then we can copy our glow effects and just paste it to the other two layers. And I'll quickly select that orange. All right, so this is what we currently have. Now we need to add some actual camera movement to this to make it come to life. So we'll grab our camera here. We'll open this up, go to transform, and we can add a keyframe for point of interest and position. We'll move these keyframes, say maybe forward in time. It doesn't really matter. Um, and we'll come here to our camera tool. So let's see our keyboard and we can cycle through this. And maybe we can change the orbit of our letter here. And maybe we'll even zoom in by cycling through the tools here just by hitting C on keyboard. Uh, and you can you know, kind of just change the camera angle however you see fit, completely up to you. And if you want to be extra cool, you can alt click the stopwatch for both of these and type in loop out, quotations, ping pong. So make sure your expression looks like mine, copy it and then paste it to the other set of keyframes. 
So now you can have a loop of this. Now, if you want to speed up the text scroll, all you need to do is go back into the time expression that we created and just speed this up. So maybe I'll actually set it to 250 on the time for everything. And if you want to be extra creative, maybe you can actually add a negative symbol in front of one of those and that will reverse the direction of it. All right, so maybe I went a little too fast on the time expression, but essentially you can have all the control that you need to do what you wish uh, with this effect. So remember, you can download our free 100 duck pack. That link is below and always be creating.